Welcome to the AV-42C Anti-Ship Cruise Missile Tutorial. In this video, we will be covering how to utilize the AGM-89 to eliminate hostile naval units. Deploying this weapon relies heavily on the navigation systems, so if you are unfamiliar with how to use the nav map and the GPS screens to set up waypoints, I highly suggest viewing the tutorial for these systems which can be found in the description of this video. The AGM-89 is an air-launched anti-ship cruise missile equipped with waypoint following, radar target acquisition, and terminal maneuvering technology. It can be mounted on any of the four wing pylons as well as the belly of the airframe. To deploy these missiles, first open the navigation map and the GPS screens, then Place a series of waypoints with the last one roughly where the target is. Once all waypoints are set, enable the path mode on the GPS screen. Verify that the selected waypoint is the first in the series. This waypoint is where the cruise missile will start before automatically moving to the next. Once everything is ready to go, verify that the master arm switch is in the on position and that the AGM-89 is selected. Then simply aim at the first waypoint and fire away. The AGM-89 is fire and forget, so it's best to turn away from hostile controlled airspace. But for this demonstration, we will use the TGP to observe the missile as it navigates through the waypoints. We can see the missile as a blue mark on the nav map, which is a great way to track its progress from a safe distance. For this demonstration, we have the pop-up mode selected from the equipment menu. We will cover each mode momentarily. Once the missile nears the final waypoint, it will begin searching for the target using its own built-in radar. On the equipment menu for the AGM-89, there are different modes it can utilize. With direct mode, if we set a single waypoint on the target, the missile will act as a standard air-to-ground missile, otherwise it is very similar to the sea skim mode. When using pop-up mode, the missile will stay close to the water during the majority of its flight, but as it approaches the final waypoint, it will gain altitude so it can attack the target from the top. Most targets have less armor on the top, so this mode is more likely to sink hostile ships. Sea Skim Evasive Mode works much like the Sea Skim Mode, however, as it approaches the final waypoint, the missile will bob and weave to avoid any anti-air defenses the enemy may use in attempt to stop the cruise missile. Using Sea Skim Mode, the missile will stay close to the water and impact the target's hull. This concludes the AV-42C Anti-Ship Tom Cruise Missile Tutorial. Uh, no. Wait, what? No, Tom, just Cruise. So you're telling me it's not named after Tom Cruise for his role in Top Gun? <laughs>